Well, today we are looking at blended families and the key things it takes to make a blended family work. And I am interviewing a dad that um, he <laughs> he would be the first to say that his family is not per perfect and that he's not the perfect dad, but he's doing a great job at raising a blended family and today we share his tips on how to make a blended family work. Well Conrad, welcome to the podcast. Thanks mate, thanks for having me. <laughs> it's a pleasure mate. <laughs> uh, I just want to start off by introducing you to people a little bit because um, so you, you, you're my factory manager at Flare Fires um, and I think one thing that I wanted people to know is um, just explain you a little bit because um, like I've done a lot of traveling over my years um, previous jobs I would travel all over Asia you know China Vietnam Korea Japan and other places states Australia not just sort of once or twice but sort of quite a few times every year and, and this has sort of been a, a sort of a hallmark of my work I guess and um, and I've traveled with a lot of a lot of guys over the years um, and um, and then none of them have, none of them have, like what you do, I've noticed, is every time we're at, we travel, and I've traveled with you a lot. Yeah. Right? What I'm trying you to have. say is that we've traveled, I don't know, so it, might, it might be a dozen times. Yeah, over the five years we've known each other. Yeah, that's right. And, and so we're constantly that's sort of traveling. We haven't done a lot this year, but um, what I noticed with you is yeah, after a hard day's work, we get back to the Airbnb or whatever it is, and you will connect with your, your family. <laughs> you know, and you, next thing I'm, um, I'm trying to relax. You know, trying to zombie out, and you've, you're on the phone, and the kids are going, "Hey, Dan," and you're like, "Hey, lovelies," and you're, you're, you're engaging with your family really well. And I just, um, really respect that. Uh, no, about, I appreciate it about you. And, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm there, Mike. I, I guess I try and keep. When we used to go away, I yeah. tried to keep our, my, life as. Uh, the same as off while I was at home. So yeah. I'd know when they'll be finishing school and stuff like that and know their routine when they get home. So I know when there's a good time to call them right. and stuff like that. So I'd call them after school, how was your day and stuff. And then um, do our thing, we'll go out for dinner and then we'll call them again before they go to bed. Yeah. And, you know, just that's so, right. and that's what I'll do at home as well. Wow. You know? So just try and keep it, as, even though dad's away, they still know it's uh, as normal as possible. And so... Uh, in that yes. situation, you're trying to keep what's going through your mind. Is it sort of trying to maintain the relationship, trying to keep things feeling normal for the kids? Yes, or, yes. Right. And, and family, yeah, yeah. They all miss, yeah, dad, you know, when we go away and yeah. stuff like that. And it feels different. Something's missing. Yeah. You know? So if you include yourself in the, what's happening while you're away, they don't seem to right. miss you as much. Yeah. Or notice you to, uh, that you're gone. Yeah, I think. Well, that's awesome, man. Because I think yeah. a lot of dads just don't even think that. It's like, well, well, maybe they're not even present enough for the kids to miss them in the first instance, but um, they're probably just, um, you know, away enjoying business or whatever it is that they're and doing. And they get a break for themselves. Get a yeah. break and not even thinking, maybe I need to be, um, how do I be present even when I'm not present? Exactly, exactly. Doing it that way. Um, yeah, my kids, they, they're excited to tell me about their day and, or something could happen. They can't wait to get home and tell me. And they'll ring me just to tell me that or, or something. You know, we were busy or something. Yeah. Okay, honey, we I gotta go now. And, yeah. And they'll tell me a bit more about it later. So yeah. Even though you're away, you're still there. Yeah. They're reach you're reachable. Well, I've got to say, mate, I honestly I've travelled with so many different people and I've travelled a lot myself and I haven't seen other dads do that mm. like you. It's a pity. I I don't know. I don't, I, yeah. I, I just think Everyone does that, but yeah, maybe not. No, they don't. And and that's why I wanted to interview you, because um, you have a blended family. Yes. Um, and hey, as I said to you, you know, none of us are perfect. Um, all our lives um, look messy. And I know your life's looked pretty messy at times. <laughs> um, I remember when you first turned up to work um, or, to, you know, for an interview uh, with me, it was... Um, I was thinking, shoot, what have I met here? You know, <laughs> I'll give this guy a go, but wasn't yeah. expecting a heck of a lot. And um, man, you've just been just one of those blessings of my life, man. Oh, yeah, blessing to lot, the man. business and and a, a blessing to me. And um, um, so look, I thought, okay, here's a guy. Um, this is about guys doing family well. Um, 
I'm sure your partner Marita will be listening, going, "Yeah, yeah, he's not perfect." Oh, <laughs> right. far from. But there's all sorts of issues, but um, that's the same for all of us. And um, but the issues are more more complicated when it's blended. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So talk a little bit about that, and maybe just tell a little bit about your story. How did you get to um, you having a blended family? Um, shit, I started early. I had my first child. My oldest son is twenty seven next year. So, right. Um, I was seventeen. Yeah. When he was born. Wow. Um, so started early. First wife had three kids to her. Uh, we were together fifteen years. Yeah. Um, separated. I met another, um, my second wife, about a year later. Yeah. Um, and she already had two previous boys. Wow. Um, one was eight years old and the other one was a year and a half. So um, their father wasn't um, present in their lives, so it was just the mother. Um, I came along um, and I just knew they needed someone to look after them really you know yeah uh, i um wasn't in a relationship with their mother and i was keen to just accept what come with that yeah you know? right um and make it work um the eight-year-old was a bit standish at first mm -hmm. thinking i won't be around for very long and yeah you know right. yeah. so yeah he just didn't uh, we didn't connect for well, about a couple of years yeah um and then i was around he knew, oh, okay, he's going to be around. So we we became we became uh, became really close actually. Uh, yeah, he's a, actually a year older than my eldest son. Mm, okay. Um, uh, and the young fella, he well, he didn't know any difference. So yeah, right. From day dot, he yeah. thought I was his dad. Yeah, would call me dad. Yeah. Um. Uh, that so I had my three kids and her two kids. So right. Straight away, blended family. Difficult yeah. for her. She didn't um, sort of get on with my first wife, right. you know, Yeah. and um, found it hard to connect with my children, you know, because they just wanted that mm. um, at that time. Uh, not really getting to know her. Mm. Well. But uh, over a few years, they, it, it all sort of mellowed out. Mm. And they accepted her mm. as as just as her boys accepted me. Right. Um, that came to an end 2016, I think we were together for about 10 years. Right. Um, which was hard. I, the hardest thing about it was losing my two boys to her. Wow. You know, I love those boys like myself, but right. because of the separation, yeah, she took, she took the his, her family, her, her kids. Yeah. Wow. Separated it straight away. Um, which was hard and, mm. They never blamed me. I didn't know that until a few years later. Mm -hmm. but, um, they always respected me and what I did for them. Wow. Yeah, that was good. I didn't know that in the time. That only happened like a couple of years ago. Mm. I was told that by mm. my oldest boy. So that meant a lot. Yeah. Um, I always thought that they um, right. resented me for, for breaking that. up the family. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they, yeah. So I was, I was their dad. Um, now I've got a partner. Um, lovely. Young lady, mm, yeah, <laughs> Marita. Yeah. Marita. Yeah. Um, and she had three children. Yeah, um, couple. Yeah, very young. I think Mason was. So we've been together seven years now. Okay. Um, when we first got together, I had come back from Australia. I lost my three girls to my second wife. Right. They stayed with the mother until I got them back over to New Zealand. So right. me and Marita were already together. Yeah. Um, by ourselves, who she had uh, the three kids, like I said, and well, they were living with her, their uncle. So we were together by ourselves. Right. So she, she had three kids, but they weren't living with her. No. And you have three girls, kids, girls, and yeah. they weren't living with you. They're still in Australia. Australia, right? So, <laughs> I get it. It's a bit complicated, but yes, I'm, I'm yes, all over the place. It, right. So I moved back from Aussie. Yeah. And by myself. Yeah. And um, yeah, back. With Monica, um, Marita. Mar don't call her Monica. No, that's the first one. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Marita. <laughs> um, then we, we got our kids back. So I got yeah. the girls back from Australia and decided, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to get a house and right. let's get all our kids back. Yeah, back. wow. Um, so we had the f six, 
So they all come, they, they all did living all with her. And, and was this when you were in Te Poke or? Yes, right. yes, yeah. So, and be, before then, like I said, we were j just ourselves, and yeah. then all of a sudden we got six kids. Right. Blended, two blended families. Right. Um, Marata was fantastic. You know, she loved the girls. The girls loved her. Okay. You know? um, there was no, oh, I guess there might have been, there would have been, you know, uh, the girls would have wanted me, you know, mm. and knew they had to share. Mm. Would, mm. Um, auntie, they used to call her. Right, you know? yeah. But now they call her mum. Yeah, know? right. Yeah, the well. kids call her mum, you know, because she's yeah. you know, yeah. been a mother figure. Yes. More than four years. Um, and that was um, that was different. The kids had to get along with each other, and which they're they're pretty good as they're getting older. They mm. no, they they're really 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 good. They've, they did that pretty good. Yeah. Um, and so yeah. How, you're saying they they accepted Marata. Um, was that and Marata accepted was there, her them was but was there any difficulty? I imagine it must be difficult for. Oh, the yeah. partner to deal with this blended situation. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, and it's up to the person who the person is. Mm. You know, not many. I know a lot of people that they can't do that. They can't mm. accept um, non biological. Yeah, right. Kids. They can. Uh, yeah. So you've seen that where there's been a, a lack of acceptance of those. People. Yeah, or, or they're treated differently. Right. You know. Um, yeah. And stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you feel like that might. Um, Mm. Oh, so you're always picking on my kids or right. something like that. And those are some of the issues. And you're fighting with each other rather than the actual cause, which is sometimes, depending on the age of the kids, they're very manipulative. Yeah. They, you know, they can play each other off. Yeah. Play you off against your partner. And so that's the added complication, right? Oh, <coughs> lots of, yeah, lots of things. you just got to remember why you're together and why you got yeah. together. And, and they've accepted you and all you, the package that comes with wow. you. Wow. And you've done the same thing. So that's interesting. Complicated where potentially there's some um, natural sort of conscious or unconscious sort of manipulation that goes on. And, yeah. Um, and you're also aware that these aren't your kids and, and whether there's games being played. And what you're saying in amongst all of that is as long as you two, the um, Marita and, and Connie, or the, you know, the, the parents, the and parents the, yes. are actually – Operating as a team, yeah. and working out what the purpose is and why you got together, then exactly. that you can. If you always work. just remember that, right? Then you you realise what you don't. Yeah, there's always going to be conflict. Yeah, it's a what do you call it? It's a choice to have combat. You know, <laughs> but I love that man. You know, where'd you learn that? Oh, I don't know, Bob Marley. <laughs> Bob Marley, bring it on. <laughs> um, <laughs> So yeah, there's always going to be issues. Wow. It's how how you work together, and and it and it's made us stronger. We we used to have a few issues, and I used to actually think that mm. why are you picking on it, or mm. you're only doing it to, you know. And right. that is not true. That might be how you feel, but yeah. knowing my partner, she is not like that. No, you know? and that knowing her, right? So it's coming back to that the trust. Yeah, because when we have a lack of trust, we fill it with oh, you know, they're only doing it for this, or that's happened. Yeah. But when we go, actually, no, I, I, I trust her. So knowing her in those good moments, we can fill them with trust when we're angry. It's just like, yeah, it's all no, their fault. It's yeah. All, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you'll find your, your, um, those little conflicts where turn out to be big become right. minor yeah. and, and set you up for the yeah. bigger ones. Mm. You know, you know you, we're mm. going to come out of it all right. Yeah. Okay, so what do you do when it feels wrong and in those harder – because we all have – Family, I, you know, I have one wife, six kids from the same wife, you know, it's, yeah. and that's hard enough. And most families would say, gosh, it's hard. But then blended in all these additional sort of little games and, and, and conflicts yeah. that can happen, I imagine, between siblings and between siblings yeah. and partners. Are there things that you can point to that you'd say, this is what I've done or what I try to do to make this work? <laughs> I'm not sure the um, my partner is the the sort of the uh, the, the glue. No, no, no. no. The, the uh, what do you call it? The judi adjudicator or right? The, oh, the dis di disciplinary. Right. Okay. I'm not sure. I, I try not to be a shelter. And, yeah. And, but if if it comes to it, yeah, I put my foot down and stuff like that. Right. Um, 
we just talk, we understand, and we try and get the kids to be as open as we can with each mm-hmm. other. And then we, we get together and we have a talk, that's what's happening. Yeah. These are our issues. And, um, it's just being open with each other and trusting, mm-hmm. yeah, like I said, trusting right. what the resolve, uh, res- resolution is going to be. Yeah. Um, what's sort of an issue at the moment? Yeah, I've got a 16-year-old daughter. She snuck out the other night. Ah. And um, so this is a fresh one from the weekend. Yeah. Um, well, let's, not, what, let's what, not say anything that's going to make her feel bad. If she oh, no, to she it, won't but, listen to oh. it. <laughs> um, the question's, well, going to a party. So being mm. honest with her, open and us, mm. and, and yeah. not – sometimes we don't like that, the answer we're going to get, but, you know. Was the issue that she went out? Or was the issue that she wasn't honest about it? That's right. Didn't say anything, didn't ask. I used to have to go out and stuff like that. So mm. um, what are we going to do about mm. it? I just wanted to flip mm-hmm. flip out and yeah. all that. Mother to sort of calm me down. We'd just wait until see what she did. Mm. You know, so um, I, I, like I said, I, I was pretty pretty wild with her. Mm. And Marata was the, the balance. Um she sort of took a hold of that and just made her realise what happens. Mm. If you know, we don't know where you are mm. and stuff like that. Try yeah. and be honest. Yeah. Don't hide anything from us. Yeah. You know, which I couldn't do that because I was so wild. Yeah. You know? um, and but that's how I felt. I wanted those yes. all those feelings yes. of unsafe and what yes. happened. What would happen? That's yeah. why I was saying yeah. she didn't. Know that. Have um, you managed to circle back around and have a reasonable conversation with her yourself? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sort of, she's still pretty closed off in, right. in that, but that, that's um, embarrassment, scared, yeah, scared of yeah. the result, you know. Listen, man, uh, this is a good story, and I think this is something we all struggle with because the, the question we all have to ask ourselves at the end of a situation like this yeah. is does she still feel, am I still someone, <clears throat> or have I become someone through this that she would feel safe to tell me yeah. next time? Yeah. Um, yeah, and I guess Marta is that person. She yeah. feels, you know, her, they have really um, developed their bond mm. huge. And so this is your daughter. My daughter. And was, she's feeling safer potentially with um, her not mother, well, her mother, yeah. that's um, not her um, biological. Was biological mother. But, but, yeah. And that's amazing. That is amazing. And I and I love that about mm. um, yeah. their relationship, you know. Yeah. Um, but that's how Marta is, you know. Whether it's our, our own children, someone mm. else's kids, yeah. nieces and nephews, yeah. they're all welcome. We all, they all get treated the same. Yeah. I, I just want to segue a little bit on this. I've got my own little agenda I want to bring out here. But this, right. is, this is something you and I talk about a lot at work where guys won't be honest or guys or girls. Well, you know, they'll make a mistake at work. Yeah. Right. Something will happen. And they won't be honest about it. They'll hide their mistake. They'll try to cover it over. And we all do this. Um, but um, what you and I get frustrated with is not the mistake. No. We actually get frustrated when people just went honest about it. Yeah, that's right. Um, and because the, they're afraid that we're going to blow up or they're afraid we're going to fire them or, um, I don't know, do something. Uh, yeah. They're just embarrassed and, and scared and all of the things that your daughter is feeling. Exactly. Um, and she knows that you can probably be a little bit scary at times too. Yeah. Um, and... What we want to do is I think we want to raise kids that learn to say sorry. Um, and we want to be parents that our kids feel safe saying sorry to. Yeah. Um, so what, I don't know what the right next question is for you here, but what what do you think you're is on your journey over the next few days then to sort of finish that off well? Yeah. We we'll carried on a little bit this morning. She's um, so we've taken her. Um, what do you call it? Uh, device. Device. Right. So there's repercussions for her. Yeah, she's, she's lost some freedoms. Yeah. Interesting. And until she comes back to us with that, she'll get those right back. You know. Um, so just working on that, trying to get her to open up a bit more. Yeah. And why she? You know, I got no problems with her going out. Yeah. I don't, I have a problem with her not mm. um, being open about it and sneaking around and stuff like that. We shouldn't be doing it. No. Climbing out a window and um, 
feeling that she can't tell us yeah. or ask us to tell us. So how yeah. much of that is her being safe? Or you mentioned that that's a part of it, that knowing where she is. Yeah. And how much of that for you is feeling like the relationship's being disappointed that the relationship's not yeah. um, honest enough? Yeah, that, quite a lot, quite a lot. I mean, I always feel, um, yeah, yeah. She she talks to her mother quite a lot you yeah. know, about things that are, yeah. you know. Going on. But because Dad won't mm. give the same answer, I yeah. guess, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, Martha's really good like that and mm. explaining things and mm. how people feel. Yeah. Whereas I just say, ah, oh, don't worry about it. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. Tough enough. Tough enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But I'm just, yeah, yeah. Um, just working on her and making her feel, mm. you know, get back into it, be a bit more lively. But that age, yeah, mm. oh, man, she's up to something. Yeah, so there's stuff going on. So yeah. you, your your natural instinct was to take the devices off her, she, so she's lost some freedoms. Yes. In your mind, was there, was there some connection between what happened and devices? Could be. Could be. Could so be. So you're wondering, yeah, yeah. So, and obviously she she feels an attachment to those. So. Yeah. Um, you're wanting her at this point to attach more to you guys than she yeah. is to the devices, and or? it is working. Yeah, yeah. it is working. Great. Um, yeah. What else? Uh, the other kids, you know, because when there's a one of the kids uh, are playing up, so the focus mm. is on them a little bit. Yeah. They, they they still get. Um, they might feel pushed to the background a little bit, mm -hmm. but they've yeah, because all the focus is on them, you know. Yeah. Um, right. Maybe they're pretty good kids. They're really, actually, really good kids. Mm. Um, but that is a challenge, eh? When you're dealing with when, when there's one child that is um, having an issue, it can affect the whole feel in the home. It does and the other kids feel it? Yep. And the fact that you've picked up on that, I think, is really um, insightful. Yep. Um, as as parents, you, I mean, obviously, you and Marita have been on the same page, firstly, with this issue with your daughter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and in fact, yeah. you've let Marita take a, the lead on it. Yeah. Um, if you guys weren't on the same page, then this would be a mess, right? This would be, yeah. Yeah. How, I, I don't, um, yeah. Yeah, it would be. It would be. Mm. Um, yeah. So that's a big tip for dads is. is yeah, work together. Work together. Yeah. You can't, and, and ask, for, ask for that help from your partner. Mm. And be there to support each other, mm. definitely. We've we've had a we've come a long way. We've come a long way, but everything we've done has led us up mm. to this, and we get yeah. better and better as we go. Because I think that is part of the problem. Because in working together, it's possible, Connie, and I don't know mm. about you, but for other men, that they're probably part of the problem. That you themselves, know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Like, because we've got our way of thinking, yeah. and then your partner's got their way of thinking, yeah. you know? and it's totally different. Yeah. Mm. You just got to realise that it's for the same result. Yeah. Um, yeah, work together. Yeah. yeah it's, it's real tough. They're not against you guys. They're not against you. They, they yeah. love you. Yeah. And they just want you to be happy. So. They're not our enemy. But, you know, yeah. potentially um, the issues you're having with your kids can be related to the issues you're having as a couple. Yeah. Oh, they, always. Um, always, right? Yeah. And so in dealing with the child, you're almost having to deal with yourself, yeah. which none of us want to do. But the leaders, leaders are always trying to work on themselves. Yeah, and the, and I, I love that you, uh, recently you and I had an issue at work. We had a, um, we had a few people resign all in one day. Remember that? Yeah. We haven't lost them all, but we had, we had a bad day. And what I was super impressed with on that day was a you saying to me, man, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like you didn't say, Those bloody stuff, you know, this, this and that. Uh, we had a little bit of talk about that, but you, yeah. leaders do this. We are often reflecting and going, okay, there's, is this a lesson here for me to learn? Yeah. And at home, that's really hard. At yeah. work, it's a bit easier because yeah. I don't know why it's easier. Maybe it's just because we're not made to be embarrassed in front of our partners. <laughs> um, but at home, sometimes we just got to say sorry and work out what the heck to do better. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah, you're right. Always try and be better. Um, better dad. I remember, yeah, better dad, better partner, um, better yeah, leaders. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm. I, lo I, I give a lot of security. The kids feel secure. Mm. Um, like there's a lot of structure at home. So, Okay, so talk about that a little bit. 
you talk about security and structure, and in your mind they're, they're connected. Yeah. And you've just connected them. Uh, well, that sounds simple. A lot of families don't get this. They're, we're living in this world where um, life is very fluffy and soft and there's no structure and security because we've kind of lost the idea that boundaries are kind of a thing of the past. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, so talk, talk to me a little bit about the structure in your family and how that brings security in your mind. Um. Well, Dad's home every night. Dad goes, they see me, well, you know, they see me okay. go to work, yep. they see me come home, yep. they see me cook tea, they see me... Do you cook dinner every night? Not every night. <laughs> <laughs> Not every night. Yeah. I try to, but yeah. um, there's, yeah, there's no thing for me. Yeah. Um, I'm always busy, and, and there's always food in the cupboard. Mm -hmm. There's always whatever they need, they yeah. have. Yeah. Um, And they, they, they know that themselves, you know. They know well, I'm never going to leave them. Yeah. What they have is... Yeah. You know, um, always going to be there. And so some, that structure, and I thought you were going to say something else, um, but you say part of that structure that you're providing is actually you coming home. Yeah. Or you're going to work at, a, at the same time you're coming home. And the so reason. And, and, and you're present. Yeah, being present. Um, hmm. There's yeah, you know, there's always the chores and stuff like that, very structured. We have dinner every night okay. all together. You know, at a table? Or at a or, table. Oh, wow. Have, yeah, family. Good dinner, job. Really. Yeah, and that's try. That's something I've always loved yeah. as growing up as a kid. That's what my father tried to do, and that brings us all together at one time. Mm. Um, mm. Um, in the mornings, there's you know everyone's up doing their uh, chores before they go to school and, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Homework. And, yeah, yeah. So you make your kids do chores. That's yeah. so last century, man. <laughs> They don't. They they know they don't get. Um, they've got to do yeah. help out around the house. Wow, and, and, stuff like that. and that's uh, everyone who I've got a few kids that I mentor as well. And when they stay there and they're doing the dishes, brilliant. And they, all the nieces and nephews there, they yeah. don't get treated differently. Yeah, exactly like our kids. Yeah, um, yeah. But I'm 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 there. They know that I'm. I love them very much. Yeah, um, they call me dad. Mm. Um. Yeah, I'm always going to be there. Yeah. So that's awesome. So you, you're providing structure and security. You're being present. You're, you're there every night. Yeah. Um, you're turning up at about the same sort of time of the day, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, rather than sort of going to the pub for hours and sort of <laughs> Monday. Yeah, um, I don't do that. Don't do that. Um, the kids have structure in the sense that they are, they are asked to be a part of the family in terms of doing chores. Yeah. They're realising they're learning a bit of – um, contribution to the team. That's right. That's right. Um, learn some self control and 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 um, self management. Self management yeah. through all of that. Mm. That's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah, you've grown up to be really good kids. I'm really proud. Of, really proud of. Them. Yeah, you should be. They are awesome kids. Um, I've still got a couple of girls in Australia. Yeah, I'm working on getting over. Yep. I miss them terribly, but um, I don't get to talk to them. Mm. Very often. Um, I, I, I was thinking, um, I was thinking about um, the, amount of, the amount of people we've employed over the years together. Yeah. And I was thinking about you, thinking about, we're just, we're just talking in about kids and having good parents. And I, I think back to the amount of good people, the people that we've employed, they've turned up with no decent looking CV. In fact, the CVs look absolutely garbage. They look like... <laughs> You know, we have people turning up in ankle bracelets or, you know, with drug history and all that kind of stuff, all sorts of really bad backgrounds. But when you've, like in your case, I look at your parents and I can see probably your parents didn't work perfect, but you have a good relationship with them, yep. don't you? Yep. And yes. I have found with the people that we've employed, if, if uh, during the interview, if I've managed to establish what their relationship is like with their parents and when it's healthy, um, I found those employees quite, generally speaking, the better employees in the mm. business. Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, my parents, they're still together after 50, 59 years of marriage. Yeah. Um, we were, yeah, like normal kids. I'm, one, I'm the boy of four, four uh, siblings. Yeah. Um, I've got three sisters. Yeah. Uh, a little bit different. The old man was pretty hard on. On, on me, yeah. Um, but we, we've had our dramas over the years, and, mm. and I love him terribly. And yeah, yeah, he's my mate. He's yeah. my mate. Um, 
I just, I, the reason I went there, and because you, you know, I know your dad as well, but yeah. um, and your sister works with us as well. Yeah. Um, but um, I'm just thinking about your effort to raise a home in which you have a great relationship with your kids. Yeah. Um, it's not only good in terms of how your home feels now, but you're actually raising kids that are going to be really employable. Yeah. You know, they're going to contribute well in the future because they know how to work at home and they definitely all yeah. of that. Yeah, and there was some, something we was drummed on to us. We grew up on a farm, so we couldn't be lazy. We were mm. always out on the farm being busy and stuff like that. That taught me a great deal about being uh, my work ethic and yeah. stuff like that. Mm. You had to do if you had to get something you had to work hard for. Yeah. And we're still working hard, Mike. Yeah. You know, not as quite laborious as it used to be, but yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, and, and that's all we were trying to do, raise, you know, um, Genuine members of society, eh? Yeah. Uh, um, my kids are, are really going to be like that, I think. Yeah. So, have you looked at other blended families? And then, uh, I'm tr trying to answer this in a way that's not too judgmental or whatever, but I, when you've looked at other blended families, have you seen some things that aren't done or things that dads don't do that they should try to do? Yeah. Um, not just dads, mothers, and fathers. Right. You know? Okay. Talk about that. Depending on the um, like the ages or, or, or something, or how how involved the parents are, it's easy to just to find a partner, mm. you know, right. and then just throw all the kids together. Yeah. But yeah, you're going to have a lot of con conflict, and that's mm. going to affect. And people just give up. Right. Um, have I seen? Yeah, I have. Everyone's different, mm. and it's not me to um, judge. And what they do different. No, like no, that. that's but, right. Um, yeah, the, the biggest thing is just <laughs> patience, yeah. patience, 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 and know, it? yeah, know your partner. Be your partner's support. Mm. She's not against you. Mm. Your partner's not against you, um, and the kids will play your oh. play off. So he's playing off, not listening. I've never heard the words "You're not my father." Mm -hmm. I'm not going to listen to you. Don't oh. tell me what to do. I've never heard that. Well. So, and those are, I've, I've seen those yeah. words being said, yeah. you know. I don't want to be, put myself in a position to be able to hear those words. Yeah. So. so you're parenting in a way that isn't, you're not getting those words. Yeah. And that's not about being soft. I'm not hearing a soft dad here. No. no um, no. But you're obviously very loving in that. Yeah. And well, well, what is, what is love? Um, affection and yeah. stuff. But it's also providing for your family, mm. you know, making sure that they have everything they need, yeah. security, stability. Being present. Yeah. Loving their mother. If You're they right. see that, wow. you know, they, they know, I, my dad loves my mum. Yeah. I love him for that, you know. It's so good, man. It's such a good lesson there, partnering with your partner, right? right? You keep talking about that idea of, you know, we're a partnership in this. Yeah. Um, you can't be individual, man. And if you're disciplining your child by yourself, yeah, that's already going to be a conflict. That's a problem. Yeah, because wow. maybe your partner's not agreeing with you, and how would you know that? You've just mm. done it by yourself. Wow. You know? Yeah. So you're a team. You have to be. You have to be, Mike. And you're not a – it's not a – and being a, a loving dad is not about necessarily being soft. It's about um, being secure, providing security. It's about loving the mother. And if you're loving the mother well, yeah. then the home feels yeah. good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? I do. Love and it's such a <laughs> such wisdom there, mate. Um, <laughs> um I, it, it's been a lot of struggles oh, over, you yeah, know. Listen. My life my like, uh, oh. a lot of pain. But yeah. um where I, it's all led to me where I am now. Yeah. yeah. Um, things are awesome. I'm in a real good place. Yeah. Life. Yeah, you are. Listen, I know what you're saying. You're not a perfect dad. You probably cocked it up last week and you're probably going to, you know, you probably had issues this week. Clearly, there's a challenge with one of your daughters at the moment. Yeah. You know, you're a real dad. I, I know you well enough to know that, you know, <laughs> this is, we're not trying to paint a picture here no. and of perfection. And it's hard to talk about the things that we do well because we can often see all the stuff that we um, we need to improve on. Um, always, always. Yeah. And yeah. so um, I, I'm just really conscious of that, man. I'm not, I don't want to. I just want to recognise that um, in this kind of podcast when we're talking to dads, sometimes dads can think, oh, I'm not perfect, you know, and it's not about that. No, no, um, no. Um, gosh. But, yeah, just trying to be 
be better all the time. I, I've been a lot of kids involvement in these schools and yeah. stuff like that. I go on these school camps when yep. I can. Yeah, so you go on school camps, you're on the um, school board, board, of, trustees. board of trustees, yeah. so you're really engaged in what in their worlds. Yeah, in their worlds, all kids. You yeah. know? Uh, like I said, I've got a couple of kids there and I mentor and, and yeah. stuff like that and just mm. trying to get make them mm. feel wanted. You know? Yeah. Um, I'll talk about that, actually. He's a, he's a one of same thing, blended family, stepdad, yeah. yeah. doesn't get on with him, quite old. Yeah. So he's just sort of fresh on the scene, this, mm. the dad. But he's got siblings too. Right. But they just can't connect, you mm. know. Okay. Um, we do, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm not doing anything different to my kids, but mm. he comes to our house, he's structured. You yeah. Know? We sit at the table, stuff like that. And he he's thriving. He's doing really great. Um, so even though he's not one of my, my kids, he yeah. gets... It's it's yeah. the same sort of thing. Yeah. Blended family. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, the kids all they all get on yeah. just like he's one of the one of our kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they could be the nephews or whoever visits. Mm. It's, it's, they all get treated the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. That's it's so awesome. good. Mate, um, well, what would be in finishing, what would be one your biggest tip for dads with a blended family? Biggest tip Biggest tip for myself. <sighs> yeah, don't treat... It's hard to say that. Don't treat them any differently than your own. Mm. And that's hard to do. That's hard to do. You, you right. sometimes really think, don't even realise you're doing it right. Yeah. But you are in a little way. You might remotely react to them a different yeah. tone or, yeah. or something or... Have you, just trying have, I, have you ever had to circle back around and actually acknowledge that with your ch children or do you try to not acknowledge it and just be, change what you do next time I haven't in those words said mm. uh, acknowledged it in words yeah um, but yeah I have you know I'm gone back and reassured them that, this is, that that's not what I did I um, wanted to do or, yeah yeah or anything like that um Mm. So trying to treat them equally and trying to treat them as if they are yours yeah. and not trying to treat yours better than yeah. the ones that aren't yours. I don't bring it up. I don't yeah. mention that, that they're not mine. No. Or In fact, people think they are yeah. mine. Exactly. If they looked at, if they didn't know, no. you'd look at the kids and think they're mine. Yeah. Bring Just because of how our relationship is. Yeah. And they sort of look like my, yeah. my kids as well, <laughs> which is um, we often laugh, laugh about that yeah. in Marata. Mm. Um, but the people that don't know think, mm. yeah, this is, they're just a blended family. Yeah. yeah. Where was I going with that? Um, I'll circle you back around. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't, don't try not to keep them, um, make them separated. And in the times of conflict where it's happened before, the mother will take their kids and separate the kids because they're pissed off with the right. dad or something. Yeah. That's an, that's another. That's Try not to do that. Say, Don't separate. Explain that again. Separating the, the two families. Yeah, in actually, times of conflict wow. with the parents. Wow. That, that's, so actually separating these are my siblings, these are yours, and separating Yeah. Them. Ouch. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't hurts. feel healthy. No. And don't bring it up. Oh, like, we don't we don't bring the bring it up that mm. you're not – uh, my bio biological, mm. um, it only it gets talked about or someone brings it, you know, someone else brings it. Yeah. Oh, why are you doing that? They're not your kids. Right. Well, I don't think of them like that. Yeah. So Good. you shouldn't be either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't separate lots of patients with your partner. You might think that um, they're picking at your child. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. Have faith in them. They're, um yeah, they're not doing that. Mm. They might think that, but it's definitely not. Yeah. Um, okay. Lots of patience. Yes, lots of patience. You mentioned at some point you know, yeah. about not giving up and. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's easy to just chuck it all in, mm. but nah. You just remind yourself why you got together in the first place, mm. and um, it'll be yeah. all right, hopefully. That is awesome, mate. Uh, and we're still working. We're still yeah. working. Yeah. Every day, daily, yeah. on the daily. Yeah. As the kids get older, they... Yeah, it gets more complicated. Mm. Yeah. 
Well, mate, you you made a, a uh, quoted Bob Marley, was it, during at the start? Sort of, it might be combat, it uh, might be <laughs> um, um, conflict, but conflict is, is inevitable. Yeah, combat is optional. Combat is optional. <laughs> well, we should finish up on that lovely Bob Marley quote. I love it. Never heard it before, but it's so appropriate. <laughs> Yeah, um, and I know we talked uh, about much more than that, and I know that um, people are just going to get so much out of this episode. I, I hope so. Yeah, they will. I know it, and I really appreciate your time. It's been great having you on here, man. Thanks for having me, Mike. And um, look, I appreciate. I, I really respect everything you're doing for our, our workplace, the guys in our work, and, uh, and what you're doing in these podcasts and stuff. Oh, it's a pleasure. Yeah, uh, you guys are awesome. You're Thanks, awesome, mate. mate. <laughs> okay. okay, catch you next time. Thanks, Mike.